Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can install Linux on our Windows with WSL. So WSL is Windows subsystem for Linux and it is a feature of Windows operating system that helps us, that enable us to run Linux directly on Windows alongside our Windows desktop and applications. So to run this uh, WSL, there are a few things which you need to take care. The first thing is your Windows version should be Windows version, uh, Windows 10 version 2004 or higher and build should be 19.041 or higher than that or Windows 11. So this WSL will work with this Windows type only. So what you can do, how you can check your Windows version, just go to the start over here and write R and run over here I have written win word and enter you will see your windows version a window version is 10 and the build is 19044 the minimum build version required is 19041 but mine is 44 so on my windows this WSL will work okay and after that the next thing which you need to take care is just go to this uh, windows start click on the settings and after going to settings just check for windows update check for updates okay so um, you have to install all the updates otherwise you will face problem while installing the wsl check for update install all the updates okay so this is the next step after that what you need to do is go to settings again and security okay security and over here go to this for developers and you have to on this install apps from any source including loose files you have to on this thing from here okay so this is the next thing once you done that after that just go to control panel and then programs then turn windows feature on and off go there from here you have to check few things first thing is this hyper v this should be checked okay if it is unchecked you have to enable it hyper v okay enable the hyper v and then scroll down when you scroll down then you'll get this virtual machine platform you have to enable this also if it is already enabled then let it be like that only otherwise if this is unchecked so you have to check it virtual machine platform once you done that next thing is windows subsystem for linux you have to check this also okay so these are the three things you have to check and then you have to click on ok right so these are the few changes you have to make and guys after that just open taskbar when you'll open taskbar go to this performance and then cpu under this cpu just see this virtualization this virtualization is enabled right now because i have enabled it from my bios setting and if it is enabled in your pc then there is no need to change anything further if it is disabled then you have to enable it from the bios setting okay and for that just restart your pc and by pressing f2 or f8 or f10 um, depending on your pc in my case i have pressed the f2 and i have entered into my bios settings right once you enter in your bios setting the what you need to click is you need to click on this advanced mode okay once you click on this advanced mode next thing is to click on this advanced button over here right and once you click on this advanced then go to this cpu configuration right after clicking on that cpu configuration then just see over here svm mode check if this svm mode is disabled you have to enable it enable the svm mode and then click on exit and after that click on save and reset just ok click on ok right so your virtualization will be enabled now when you on the start your pc again open the task manager again and go to performance and then cpu then check virtualization you will be uh, getting enabled over here 
right so virtualization is enabled so these are the few changes which you need to do before working with wsl now we have done all those changes now next step is to uh, work on we want to work on linux right so go to microsoft store open this microsoft store okay so from this microsoft store just write ubuntu we want to install ubuntu so these are the different ubuntu versions you have so i'm working on this ubuntu 20 so let's click on it when you click on it so i have already installed it so that's why i'm getting open over here but if you are uh, opening it first time you'll get uh, get button over here click on that get button this ubuntu will be downloaded okay and after that click on this open when you click on this open you will get a uh, this um, terminal like this okay and it will ask you to set your username and password so in my case i have already done all those things so that's why i'm getting my um, it is prompt directly terminal directly so if you are doing it first time it will ask you to set your username and password so i already have a environment with the name of arohi so i'm getting it like this okay so guys this is how you can use uh, this um, ubuntu on your pc but if you want to use it with more ease for that what you can do is just install windows terminal okay windows terminal is very easy to install what you need to do is just uh, this is the link from here you can install the window terminal once you install the windows terminal just click on this window okay from here you can see the terminal over here so this is the terminal click on this terminal when you click on this terminal you can see you have a windows powershell right now over here and you have one plus sign over here this way you can open the another tab and we have an arrow over here drop down click on it you can see you can open different uh, things from here you can open the command prompt you'll click on command prompt in one sh um, tab you are running a powershell in one tab you are running a command prompt now let's say in another shell you want to run ubuntu then click on ubuntu you will be having your ubuntu over here it will take some time to set up now this is the ubuntu right i have installed ubuntu now ls so these are the files and folders so i'm already working on it so i have my files and folders over here you can check your present working directory so this is how you set up uh, this um, uh, linux on your window using wsl so that's it guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching